helps support our coverage using Blueberry, the community that gives creators the ability to make money, get detailed audience measurements, and host their audio and video. Get 30 days to try out the service using promo code BLUEBERRY004. That's B-L-U-B-R-R-Y-004. Hi, I'm Danielle with Plug Hits Live, part of the Tech Podcast Network. I am here at CES 2023, and we're currently at Showstoppers, and I'm at the Max Gen uh, booth at Showstoppers. Can you please introduce yourself for me? Absolutely. Hi, I'm uh, Max Gibbons. I'm part of the marketing team here at Max Gen. Okay, so what exactly do you guys have here at CES and Showstopper? Sure, so what we have here is our, our main Mastion kiosk. Um, it's a computer vision based self checkout system. So customers just walk up with the things they want to buy, place it here on the tray, and it recognizes it based on what, you know, what size it is, what shape it is, what color it is. And you can have multiple items, you just throw it on there, they understand. Yeah, it's, it's no like barcode, you know, we actually don't even worry about barcodes because we're just using cameras, we've got nine cameras that are looking at what's been placed down. So it really is however many things you can fit on there, as long as there's a little bit of space between each item, we'll recognize it. And about how much space would be required between each item? Like, you know, half an inch, really it's like almost nothing, yeah, really. And it's, it doesn't have to be packaged food, it doesn't have to be cans, it can be an open plate of food, it can be a hamburger and a clamshell, um, it can be a banana, it can be really anything. Um, as long as you as a person could identify the object from six feet away, we got it. And how exactly does this work? I mean, I know there's like a big square here with a bunch of dots, um, and then I'm assuming there's like a camera of some sort that kind of scans yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, there's nine cameras. Um, uh, do you want me nine to show? Yeah. There are nine cameras. Do you want me to show it? Yeah. Okay. So you just take the things that you want to buy, place them down. You don't In any way, even if it falls. Clearly, you don't have to do a good job. Excellent. And okay. think about like someone who's in a hurry is not really going to care about how carefully they place things down. Um, and if you look over there, you'll see um, all those items have rung up on the display. It waits just, I think, half a second, a second after your hands have left the stage to like scan, recognize things, and put it up on the side display. Yeah. So, um, what is your target like demographic here? Like, what are you trying to reach? Uh, where are these going to be primarily located? Right. So, right now, we're primarily in uh, convenience stores. Uh, we're in sports stadiums. We're in corporate cafeterias, hospitals, airports. Um, really, any place that has maybe fewer than about 10,000 items, uh, could be more, really just depends on what's in that location. Um, so yeah. if I worked, if I was like the head of one of these uh, companies or locations, um, how would I set this up and how would I get it kind of like used to everything that I have and right, right. like how do I plug it in and, yeah. and use it? It really depends on uh, the sort of systems in the back end that you have, what uh, payment processors you use, what, how you're managing your price books. There's a lot that goes on behind the scenes in retail, um, so it really depends on how sophisticated of an integration we have to do. But if you say that wasn't an issue, like you were just happy to import a, a price book once a week, you know, you've got new items, um, setting up a mastering kiosk in one of those locations would, is a matter of half a day or a day. Because we, we come in, we bring in our kiosk, maybe you remove one of your existing, self -check, your existing point of sale systems, put us in and we just scan everything in your store. If it's in our system, it doesn't need to be a problem, but if it's unique to you, we scan it. An item takes uh, 30 seconds to scan a whole new item into the system. And once you've scanned it in one location, it's in all the locations. And when you say scan it, do you mean just scan the barcode and that's good enough? Or how, how does the scanning process kind of work? Right, so if we've never seen a thing before, we need to make sure that we match it to the price book. So if it has a barcode, we can scan it. It'll connect into your price book. And then we do what we call poses. You place the item down on the tray a, a few times. Um, you hit scan and identifies it from different angles. So typically, you know, it's a bag of chips, you flip it around a few different ways, around the tray in different spots, um, and you're good. So from then on, that kiosk is gonna know what that kind of chip is like. Um, and if you have other locations, they're gonna connect to the cloud and pull in that information as well. So it's, it's, it's so kind of like neat. all of them will learn from the one. Exactly, yeah. So you don't have to do it on each individual one in the store. That's right, and considering we're in 1,800 locations and that's, you know, more than one kiosk frequently per location, right. We kind of know like lots of things at this point. We were able to identify most. Consumers. So they all learn from each other, even in other stores. Yeah, we own the data as far as imaging data goes. Um, so we're able to really make our customers, especially new customers, lives easy. Yeah. Um, and I see some other things on the table. Um, so what are some other features that kind of go along with this product? Got you right. So um, in a situation like say a ski resort or a even a corporate cafeteria, but like a sports stadium, right? You're a family. You've got multiple armfuls of popcorn and nachos, 
um, you may have trays, right? Great. So we have a new system called multi-tray, which really just makes that a lot easier. Um, and I can quickly demonstrate. Uh, let's take some stuff off. Pretend, pretend this is nachos. <laughs> you put it down. Our system recognizes I'm going to reach over here past you. We just hit the add more trays. Take out those nachos that I got before. This popcorn? It's hot tamales. And our system adds that to the total. You hit, you know, you, you hit pay and you're good at that point. So it can recognize multiple trays and you just keep going. So exactly. if I have my own tray and then my mom comes up behind me, she has a tray. Then my dad comes up behind her, he has a tray. Exactly. It will be able to put all of that under one check. It's really, you know, Mastodon is all about speed and it's all about making the customer's experience a lot smoother. And, and, and fast is nice. So any hiccups, any hurdles we can remove in that process is really what we're all about. And there's like countless amount of time that like you're, you know, stuck in line oh, and, or even just at the table yeah. and they're scanning it slowly yeah. or, you know, there, I mean, there's a lot of user time there between you and the, the person checking you out. So. Just in sports games alone, we've saved fans like, we've saved fans enough minutes that it's more minutes than all of the NFL games that have ever been. Right, right. Really, it's, it's just, you know, the lines are shorter, the actual experience checking out is much quicker as well. Yeah. And everyone's happy. I mean, I've been at plenty of, uh, of sports events where you're trying to just get a beer and you're in a really long line. All you have to do is go and check out the beer. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And you don't want to miss the game. Exactly. Yeah. So. All right. Um, so, uh, like you mentioned, so I'm guessing this is currently available for, yes. for corporations to purchase. Uh, yeah, well, maybe not purchase, but we do operate on a sort of a lease basis. So it's $1,000 per unit per, per month. Um, it really depends on volume. You know, if it's more than a certain amount, of course, we you know work with you on that. So typically, like, how many units would, um, like, a gas station use, for example? Oh, it really depends on the size of the chain. They're pretty small, like, local oh, per chains. store. Oh, oh, just depends. One to three. Yeah. So, um, if uh, you already mentioned price point, so if our users wanted to find, or our, our viewers wanted to learn more information about this product, where can they go and how can they find out? <laughs> the internet. Um, Mastion.com. Sorry, that was that was bad. <laughs> really, Mastion.com is going to have a lot of info there. Thank you so much for speaking with me today. Yeah, nice to meet you. And uh, yeah. nice to talk, yeah. Yes, definitely. Um, for continuing CES 2023 coverage, stay tuned to pluggitslive.com slash CES.